this fan gan is a sequel to Danganronpa Desperate Heart. We recommend you watch that series first. We are not related to any Danganronpa companies in any way. This is strictly fan made. This series is rated 16. Viewer discretion is advised. A tense and heavy air fills the room. The ultimate sumo wrestler, dead! Someone committed the heinous act of murder, but Shut who? Shut the hell up! Squeak. Hey, hey. Listen here, would ya? Emiliano? I agree with that! <laughs> what, what did you say to me? I swear. Lobby. <sighs> I'll do my best. <laughs> We've done this once already, but let me go over everything again. You lot gotta figure out who killed Mr. Gunma Onigiri. See, there are major stakes to this. You get the culprit wrong at the vote, and I'm unaliving every one of yous. But get it right, and you're all in the clear. Except for the killer, of course. Would have been better had you explained that prior to the last trial. You want an apology or something? It's okay. You can borrow my ukulele! Time for Emiliano Rusi to use his massive fucking brain to figure this out soon. Cause I'm spent and need a damn nap. A twink like you. Charlotte was a much better pick for a leader. Ha <laughs> ha! My body's a palace made of crystals, you hear? How did you come up with that metaphor? Drugs. Yeah, I want Charlotte back now. Is this some kind of joke to you all? Why do none of you have a serious head on your shoulders? We've lost three of our friends, and you're all cracking jokes like nothing happened. It's called laughing through the pain. I don't feel pain. Nah, Tommy's right. Let's start simple. Cause of death. Start the testimony sequence thingy. Gunma was murdered at the back of the cinema, in the pitch black darkness. Someone fatally shot him in the head! They used a revolver! It was clearly another method. I don't think shooting him was possible at the time, right? Someone set up a domino effect and set it off during the movie! Gunma didn't even have to leave his seat! It's a parallel world! It's gotta be! I'll be right one of these days! <laughs> I agree with that! Damn right, Tilly. Guy was bleeding from a hole in his head, and a gun was right there on the floor, just screaming, I'm the murder weapon! So now we must ask ourselves, who actually could have killed Gunma? Lottie, listen. I love you to bits, but you ain't in this spot, so you ain't doing the deductions. Got that? Right. Silly me. Anyone could have shot him, though! We can get a better grasp of our situation by looking at... Yuki, if we look at the seating plan you made, we can determine who could possibly have shot Gunma. Huh? I didn't make a seating plan. Come on, Yuki! You're a ditzy girl, but you're better than this! <laughs> Sorry. I'd really struggle to plan a murder like this with my forgetful brain, huh? I think I remember. You're referring to 
to this? That's definitely a seating plan. All right. Gunma is at the back row. He's the only one in that row. Then Odo, Sanjiru, Tomochi, Antea, and Rintomu are on the next row down. Then Yuki, Nezumi, Millicent, Emiliano, and Nadine are on the next row. And at the very front are myself and Matilda. If anyone in those first and second rows were to stand up, turn around, and shoot someone at the back, pretty much everyone would have seen them do it. Is then perhaps Tomochi or Andea, both situated at ends of row three, turned to shoot Gunma without anyone in front noticing. Impossible, sweetheart. While the people in front wouldn't notice, the people next to us would. So if nobody was in the back row with Gunma, the only person who could shoot Gunma was... Gunma? Told you I'd solve this quickly. <sighs> Nap time, baby. Are you out of your mind? Why the hell would Gunma shoot himself? I refuse to let that be the conclusion we come to! What can I say, kiddo? The truth is a painful truth to bear. My weapon is drawn! I agree with Tomochi here. We can't leave that as the answer! I have another idea. Gunma didn't kill himself. I'll bet there was some sort of secret passage. We were all so engrossed in the movies. Someone used the passage when nobody was looking! Are you serious right now? Where would a passage even be? They'd have to climb over other people anyway. Your argument is damn pointless! Then maybe someone set up a string. One so thin nobody could see it. Then, at some point during the movie, the trigger was pulled right from their seat. Are you just messing with me? Where were you during the investigation? The gun had no trigger! Where the fuck is the string tied to? The gun had no trigger? It's true. The revolver at the scene had no trigger. As if this mystery couldn't get any more confusing! A gun with no trigger? Are we even sure it's the murder weapon? How did the gun shoot Gunma if there was no trigger to pull? Where did the gun even come from? I don't know, maybe the minicams gave it to someone. The culprit drew it with a purple crayon and... Poof! It became real! Was it in a room? Nobody's talents really align with needed guns. No, that's wrong! I don't know about talents, but the gun did come from someone's room. You know who's room, Mochi? Well, yeah. Have you forgotten already, Oto? It was Gunma who had the guns before he... died. Sumo has certainly... evolved since I last heard about it. No, no, they weren't for Sumo. They have nothing to do with his talent. Some kinky roleplay, then. The gunplay certainly isn't to my liking, but I do get the appeal. That feeling of helplessness... Please stop talking! Forever! My point is, Gunma had lots of guns, and some of them had no trigger, and that they are remote fire. You have a little remote with a button, and that's what fires the gun. I think Gunma has some explaining to do. Eh? I gave Gunma those guns under strict word that he would not reveal their existence to anyone else, to think even he was not to be trusted. Ever since I saw that gun, I did think. Lottie gave them to Gunma. Surely only Gunma could possibly know about them. So, he told you, did he, Tomochi? How many other people has he told? Did he just go ahead and give you one too, then? N no. I I'm sorry. It's my fault. Only I knew about the guns. Well, everybody knows about them now! Charlotte, please, it's not the end of the world. <sighs> and he is right. I am too trusting. Gunma, of all people, I think 
I have a right to be a little bit annoyed. Save it, Wheels. Now's the time for this. I can't trust you, bullcrap. So the gun was remotely fired. What does that tell us? Ah, that means I was partly right. Someone could have shot him from their seat. So that proves Gunma didn't kill himself, obviously. Slow down. The gun shot him in the head. You'd think he'd see a gun right in front of his face. To line up the gun with Kuma's head. How do you even calculate that trajectory? There's nowhere to prop it up. You can't just attach a gun to a wall. We'd see it. No, that's wrong! Yeah, we can see it if it was on the wall. Then where was the gun located? Well, hmm. It was definitely in the room. The only place you can prop up a gun without anyone really seeing it would be... The popcorn machine? Where do you suppose he was propped? I don't know at the moment. But like, where else? Nobody in the first and third rows would see it, would they? They just rely on Gunman not seeing it until the moment he was shot. Hold it! You're a pretty smart beast, boy. You know that? Huh? I... am? But I got a question for ya. Emiliano, be nice. Remind me. You said Gunma told you, or even showed you, the guns Charlie gave him. Yeah? And, just to confirm, he only showed you. Yeah, and? Then the only one who can fucking commit the crime is you or Charlotte. You're the only two who knew about those guns even existed. I... well... Charlotte was no longer in possession of the guns. She could not have used them. Doesn't matter. If Gunma's not in his room, the door is locked. If Charlotte knew they were in there, she could grab one. And if Tomochi also knew they existed, the same applies. Well, I'll um, be... <laughs> Emiliano actually said something smart. So, which of you are gonna confess first? <laughs>